When we were building our home, I was thinking about all the different smart home devices I was going to be adding to the home, but I wasn't thinking about what smart home devices would be included with the home. Well, I'm gonna spoil the surprise. There was only one pre-installed device that is smart home capable, and that is the MyQ garage door openers. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get those set up so that we can get these fully automated. Let's get started. So here we have the two different garage door openers. Right on the front, it says download the MyQ app get it on the Play Store or the App Store. And so here I actually already have mine installed and I have already signed into a MyQ account. So now that we have done that, now we're going to simply add a garage door. Now you do have a few different options. If you don't have one installed at your home, you can actually purchase a smart garage hub that then can make your existing garage door MyQ compatible. But right here we're going to select garage door opener. And then here we have, is it ceiling installed, opener with camera or wall installed? And this is a ceiling installed. And then before you get started, this is what you will need. You'll need the garage door, Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi password, Bluetooth on your phone and enable services. So we have all of those. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi up there. And here I need to enable location services and I am ready. So now it's asking which garage door opener I have. I have the one here that just has the single light on there. So now we're going to lift the cover and we're going to press and release the learn button. Next, and then we heard a beep over on the garage. So yes, we heard that. And here it is looking for the compatible devices. And there it found it. And we're going to temporarily connect our phone directly to the garage door opener. And now we're going to choose our Wi-Fi network that the garage door opener is going to connect to and type in the password. And now it's going to connect the garage door opener directly to the Wi-Fi. So this will work when I'm away from home. We heard a beep and two more beeps. Now I got a notification from my Wi-Fi that the garage door opener joined my Wi-Fi network. And we're gonna name this main garage door. And here safety is important. So when we do close the garage from the app, we will hear a series of loud beeps and see flashing. That's to notify people in the garage that the door is closing so they can get out of the way. This is an alert to clear the path of the door. Okay, so now we have a garage door. Let's tap to close. And so for safety, that is beeping the entire time it is in the closing process. And then if I want to open, I just press the garage door again, but let's go ahead and turn off our Wi-Fi so that you can see that even if I'm away from home, I'll still be able to control the garage door. So there my Wi-Fi is turned off and I push the button, open. And just like that, it opens instantly. Okay, and I got a notification that the garage door was closed and here it's saying how long it has been closed for. So then if I tap again, it's going to simply open it without all the beeping involved. So here under the menu, you can adjust the name, you can change your notifications and alerts. So if I don't wanna be notified every time the garage door opens and closes, there I have the option to do that. Here I can set schedules. So add a schedule to your device to automate when your garage door closes, when your lights turn off and more. So I think this is really cool. Sometimes at night, I, odd, I accidentally leave the garage door open. So this is nice that I could have it set to automatically close, which is really cool. So if we hit plus, so here some devices will allow you to change the action, but here we're gonna keep it as just closed. That's all that's allowed. And we're going to set that at 9 p.m. every day, the door will automatically close. And we can say, let's receive a push notification when that happens and give it a name. Okay, great. Then we have diagnostics. So if there's an issue, we can come in here 
and learn about it. Um, here, the LiftMaster garage door opener has excellent Wi-Fi. It's open and closed 775 times. It's actually really cool to see. The sensors are aligned. Here, something is unknown and something is unknown. So if you're having any issues, you could connect with a dealer. And here we can diagnose notifications if we're having an issue with that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the other garage door here and show you some other settings. So down here, I just need to hit plus and device. And these are all the different types of devices you can add here within the MyQ app. We're just going to do the garage door opener. All right, that one is set up. So now if I want to go between the two different garages, I can swipe left or right. And there you can see the status of the garage and when it was open or closed. So you can also change the view on how you see your different garage doors. So up here in the top, I can press here and it shows this little smaller view. And then I push one more time and you have this little list, which is kind of nice to have. So let's go ahead and shut this. So all I need to do is tap on the garage door I want to close and it gives me the option to close. And so here in my notification tray, you can see that I am getting notified every time the garage door is opening or closing, whether I'm using the app or just opening it with uh, my car when I come home. So it's nice that I have all those notifications, but great that I can go into the app and can control when they are giving me those notifications. Now there are a few other devices you can add within the MyQ app. So here you can actually add a camera, you can add a lock, and up here you can add a co-owner. So if you have other members in your family, you want to have access to the garage door from their app, they can do that as well. So down here, if you tap on users, you have the option to add guests and users here. So here you can add a co-owner, meaning they get 24 seven access for all the MyQ devices plus control of account settings, or you can add a guest, provide limited schedule access for MyQ devices you select. So you could come in here, add their email, and then it would send them confirmation, and then you can control when they have access. Then down here, you have the history. So here you can see when it was open or closed and which garage door. Here, if you had a motion sensor connected to your garage, it would then be able to tell you when motion was detected, maybe with a camera or so on. And then here you have other activity. So here it's showing that I created that schedule to close each night. So then you can go to the works with tab. So this is how you can connect it with other smart devices. So there is Amazon key. So if you want to connect this to your Amazon account to have deliveries put in your garage door without you having to interact and they're safely stored in your garage, you can launch and set that up here. Then next we have Walmart in home. So same thing, if Walmart is delivering to your home, you could have them automatically open your garage and then place the package in and close it all securely and they wouldn't be able to get into your garage without doing the delivery. Next you have Tesla. So if you have a Tesla, you can set up a 30 day complimentary trial to get it working with your garage door. So when you pull up, it automatically opens your garage and you can use it that way. It also is compatible with Vivint Smart Home. So if you have that set up, this would work as well for you. You can have it connect with the My Mitsubishi Connect. Here it will work with Ring. So here in the Ring app, you can connect and see the status of your garage door in the Ring app. Here we have alarm.com that it can connect with. And then we have IFTTT. So you can set this up with different automations that you have over there. Here we have Claire controls. We have Alpine Audio Connect and we have Residio Total Connect. So it's great to see all of those different partners in here. And then if you want to discover some more things you can do with your MyQ device, you can come in here. There you can learn about the smart garage camera and setting it up with other devices that you may already have. And so that is pretty much all you can do within the app. Now with the partners integration, there used to be a way in which you could connect it with Google Assistant as well as Alexa to be able to close the garage and see its status by voice with your voice assistant. But as far as I can tell, that is no longer supported. For me, it still allows me to have access because I was an existing MyQ user and I linked my account back then. But if you're a new user, there no longer is Google Assistant support 
or uh, direct Alexa support. So, um, so far, I don't remember using that feature much. Maybe one or two times I asked Google Assistant to close the garage um, after having it for years, but I don't think that's really priority. I just really like having the ability to quickly open the garage and close it from my phone if needed, and that I can check to see if it is closed while I'm away from home. Now, previously, when I connected the MyQ Smart Hub to the my old garage, it did take a little bit of work, and so it's great to see that the process with this integrated MyQ Chamberlain garage door opener it was super seamless. Everything has been working really great. One thing I would like to see added into the app is the ability to turn on and off the light. I know that's not a big issue, but it would just be convenient to be able to open my phone if the light is off and turn that on. Um, here I do have the option to do that, so it would be cool if that was integrated into the app. Now, if you're interested in picking up this type of system, you can get this in the link below. And if you have an existing garage door opener and you wanna add a MyQ hub so that you can make it smart, I'll leave a link for that below in the description as well. So there you go. We now have connected the only smart home product that came with the home. It's time to get the rest of the home connected. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.